Chow, 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 chow. Good Lord, Jesus, it's a fire. I just got through watching episode number 21 of Miss Scandal, honey. Yes, Scandal went all the way in. When I tell you a woman's scorn, child, a woman's scorn ain't nobody to play with. So, child, let's go ahead, pour yourself a glass of wine. I'm drinking on some water because y'all know I'm doing my little 30-day cardio challenge for the month of May. Can't have no alcohol. So I'm drinking water. Put on some lipstick, honey. Tonight I got some Miss uh, Miss Mac, the lip conditioner. Go ahead and put that on, honey, because we got a lot to talk about because Miss Scandal was on fire. It was on fire tonight, honey. And pull yourself together. Let's go ahead and get let's get it started. First of all, let's talk about Miss Millie, honey. Miss Millie was here to serve all you bitches notice that Fitz got 36 hours to come in person, recommit to me, or I'm going to go on national television and tell everybody how much of a whore he is. And child, that's exactly what Miss Millie did, but we'll get back to that. We'll get to that just a little bit later on, child. But Cyrus, you know what? Cyrus is a trooper. He really, really is because he is committed to the cause, honey. He is committed all the way to the cause. Cyrus when going back and forth, going down them damn long hallways, deep up under the White House and Pennsylvania Avenue, trying to negotiate with this crazy ass Millie. But Millie said she wasn't having a child service and come and told her, you can have your issue, girl. You can be in the Senate. You can be, um... Governor of California, child, you can go on to be the president if you want to. Just go ahead and sit your ass down and let's not tell everybody about Fitz and his, and Fitz and his horse ways. But Miller was like, hell no, I ain't having that shit. I am not having it. And I am going to go on national television. She got straight gangster, child. But when um, when Miller didn't agree, um, Cyrus turned that negotiation or that deal into a threat. He gave her a blank piece of paper. He said, bitch, listen, either you do what I tell you to do. This is a blank piece of paper. This is a blank canvas. I can say whatever the hell I want to say up about child. We'll start rumors, lies, fairy tales. Child Cyrus even went on to tell um Thomas, we'll start gay rumors about you, girl, talking about lesbianism and talking about she was, um, she's a carpet eater, carpet muncher, old bull dagger, all them types of things or whatever. And then he told me something, and then we'll make you look stupid because you sitting there being complacent with the fact that your husband cheated. But you know what Millie did? She took that damn piece of paper. She said, tear? No. He needs to come bring his ass back over here and commit to me. But like I said, Cyrus, you good people. And I know you weren't in the mold in the beginning. Everybody told Cyrus the most, Cyrus the most. Child, Cyrus is a main player on this cast. Shonda Rhimes ain't finna make him know, uh, make him betray the country, child. Cyrus is not the mole. But he's he's that he's that ride or die bitch, child. He's definitely that ride or die bitch. Child. And then his husband, James, get a new job. And I said it in the episode when James talking about he get a job. And then after we found out that Miller was going to go on TV, I had knew that James was going to be the one to get that damn interview. But we'll get back to that. But, child, I'm glad to see that Cyrus and James is back on the good foot for this episode, child. Because you know how them gay folks do all them, all them fighting and they get to the scratching of the eyeballs and all kind of stuff like that. But, ABC, child, I see y'all. I see that y'all let James go down and give Cyrus a little head head, give him a little throat, just a little bit on national TV or whatever, unbutton his, up, unbutton his husband's shirt, all kind of stuff like that. Give him a little, little throat. I ain't mad at you about that now. But child, Cyrus, you was dirty when you was trying to tell him some, um, um, millet. how about I get rid of Olivia Pope? Get rid of Olivia Pope, child. That damn plan crashed and burned because he tried to trick Jake to get Jake out of him. And Cyrus come turn the damn corner. They go Jake right there. He was like, listen, the president of the United States is my boss. He is your boss. And our boss did not tell me to leave this post. So either you do, um, so either you walk away or I'm going to tell the president. And you know what Cyrus asked did? He walked right on away. But I told y'all Cyrus is the mole. I don't know who to... Who is the damn mole? I'm about sick of this now. I kind of forgot about who the mole is um, because of all this 
excess drama and stuff that's going on. But child, we don't even. I don't, who is the motherfucking mole? They need to show us who the mole is, child. The gladiators sitting around there, going around, um, with um, trying to figure out who the hell Charlie is. And Charlie um sitting there um bamboozling the little um the court lady, and then stole her damn laptop, bringing people Danishes and stuff to the book club. Charlie is one smooth motherfucker, child. He is one smooth motherfucker. But who is the damn mo? And and you know, I gotta give it to them gladiators. Them some damn nosy ass people. That is nosy as hell. They will get all up in your business, child. Down to the point where we going up to your favorite bakery and find out what kind of um danishes and stuff that you like. We all in your phone records. We going to talk to your landlord. Does this bitch got good credit? Does he got good renters history? Yes, they be all up in your damn business. Ain't nobody safe with them damn gladiators on the loose. Now let's go ahead and get to their boss. Miss Olivia Pope, child. You know what? Some of y'all be getting mad with me when I be calling Olivia a whore. And I mean it. She's a whore. You know, when some when, when them white women be saying whore, they, whore, whore. She is a whore. She gonna sit there and ask Jake after he done sent Cyrus away. Talking about come on in, drink some glass, drink some wine and Girl, let's have truth for Dale. Let's talk. You tell me a truth. I tell you a truth. You tell me a truth. I tell you a lie. All kind of stuff like that. And then she going to have another to ask Jake why he slept with you. Really? Really, Olivia? Why did Jake sleep with you? Child, you will sleep with anything that got a... Oh, I had to bleak it out right there. You a whore. You are a whore. And you had another to ask him why? Bitch, because you giving it up. You giving it up for anybody to get it, child. What are they... You're just giving it up. Black, white, anybody. Child, I don't even know if you ever slept with old Bill Cosby nephew or whatever the case may be. Um, Bill Cosby's son, little black man who you was dating or whatever. And then when um, Jake needed to ask her, how deep are you in with the president? Jake, you ain't had to ask Olivia because I could have told you, child, she in deep. She in deep. Just as them deep ass hallways up on the Pennsylvania Avenue that um Cyrus be running up on the cheek. He in deep with her. He be all deep up in her guts and everything, child. And then when he asked you that, Olivia, now you just told him that you was gonna go lock your door and go to sleep. And then he gonna come, you gonna he asks you how deep are you in, and you're gonna walk over and start kissing him. Child. But one thing, that damn pussy did not work with him that time. It did not work because he was kissing you and he was getting his feel on, child. And then he stopped you. How deep are you? I don't know what you're talking about. And going to grab her glass of wine and walk off. Ho, yo, the, the power of the pussy did not work for you that time, Olivia. Because it's all about business now. Jake is all about business. What the hell is going on? And then early in the episode, here come Fitz. You know what? I'm sick of Fitz ass. And I'm glad that Millie is there to serve his ass notice. He gonna summon, um, uh, what's her name? What the whole name is? Olivia. Talking about, come see me. I need to see you. And she talking about, no, I'm not coming to see you. Come see me, Olivia. What the hell was that? Oh, whatever. And child, and Miss Olivia, she did go weak ass, but she went and style her. Did you see them damn white gloves Olivia had on? And she walked, opened the door, pulled off them gloves and was like, what? What do you want? He told her ass to sit down. No, I'm not. Sit down, Olivia. <laughs> and he said, don't you walk away from me. This be telling Olivia what the hell to do. I mean, you know, he the president or whatever the case may be. But child, he ain't got to be talking to her any kind of way. Sit down, Olivia. Don't talk to um. Don't walk away from me, Olivia. Hang up the phone, Olivia. And then they get into the argument, and Olivia Thomas some earn me, earn me, earn you. How girl, you are the sideline hoe. And this episode made me so mad because of the simple fact that it gave hope to all them hoes and them sideline chicks, them little um. 
girls in the background hope that the the married man is going to leave his wife. Now, I don't care what transpired on this episode. I do not believe for a second Fitz is going to leave um, Millie. I don't believe it at all. But child, when that damn interview came on, Fitz sitting over there telling me some, um, I'm going to sit right here and watch the marriage, the clock on my, the clock on my marriage, um, the clock on my marriage run out. And Olivia sitting there, her lips trembling, sitting there looking at him. She getting all happy and shit, trying to be cool or whatever. And that's exactly what they did. But I still don't believe that's going to happen. Child in that damn interview came on. And who is sitting there giving the damn interview? Honey, not Barbara Walters. Mm -mm. Not Mrs. Oprah Winfrey. No, ma'am. Not even Diane Sawyer, child. It was James Bean, Cyrus' husband, child. The gays win again, honey. He's sitting there giving the damn interview with Millie or whatever. So James sitting there and he's just, you know, like I told you, I knew he was getting in. He's just sitting there, child. And then when Millie said, my husband has been unfaithful on national TV with the, talking about the president, child. That's tea. That's some tea for you. But she, he's sitting there. And Todd, did you see that look that he turned and he gave the cameraman? He was like. <laughs> the look on his face was priceless. Then you got James. I mean, not James. You got Cyrus fat ass running through them deep hallways up on the Pennsylvania Avenue again, child. Trying to get over to get my damn husband off the phone. Tell him I need to speak to him. Ain't nobody got time for that, Cyrus. Your husband is on national TV, honey, and he is about to get the tea of all teas, honey. The president is sleeping around on his wife or whatever. And child, uh, cut the scene over to Olivia Pope and associates, and they ass sitting there watching the damn TV. My, you know, Millie said, my husband's been unfaithful. Child, when David asks, I wonder who he's been banging. Did you see all them bitches clear out the out the um office? They took off running. Them bitches know they know how to clear a damn room, child. They all took off running. That lets us know that every damn associate know that Olivia Pope has been sleeping around with the president of the United States. Yes, God, honey. Yes, God. So they cleared the room and came back to Millie. Now, one thing I would say, Millie did not say that she was leaving Fitz. She did not say that. She just asked the American people to give them time so they can heal and hopefully come out on top. So we're going to see what's happening, honey. But this episode was fire. We got the next Thursday episode and then we got the season finale after that, honey. I cannot absolutely wait. But before I end, it, um, before I end the interview, I, before I end this video, I want to say this. On a serious note, um, I kind of had my first fan experience um, on um, in IHOP. Um, I, um, I was in IHOP um, having breakfast, and this young girl walked up to me. And I'm so sorry I did not get your name because I wanted to give you a shout out here. But she walked up to me, and she was like, oh, my God, are you Alexis Maurice? And I was like... Yeah, I am. I kind of it. It made me laugh and blush just a little bit because, um, you know, nobody knows Alexis Maurice and let, and you know, except all of you guys, all of my viewers. She's like, you know, oh my God, I cannot believe, you know, I'm meeting you. You know, we're so I'm such a big fan, and she was so happy and she was smiling and she was like, oh my God, and then she was like, my mom watches your scandal reviews, and so she pointed over to her mom and her mom was sitting there waving and smiling and. I was like oh my gosh she was like I'm just so happy to meet you and so that really warmed my heart um, got the opportunity to meet my first official fan so I appreciate it very very much um, I don't know your name so please comment on this video to let me know who you are so I can properly give you a shout out next time and the next time I see you we can do a picture so you can put it up on Instagram you can tweet it in Facebook and all this stuff all that good stuff but Hello to you and hello to your mom. But, child, that's it. I'll see y'all next Thursday, honey, with Scandal. Come on. Bye, girl.